your daily read for August 28th. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. Spirit, what do you have for my Scorpio babies for today? Ooh, we got the Page of Wands. We got the Empress. We have the Page of Swords. You're doing some research. You're taking a, some look at somebody who you find very prosperous, very abundant. Um, somebody who they plant seeds. They look at things. They are all about growth. <clears throat> so with the Page of Wands, you're trying to decide if you want to go in this direction or if you're going to make plans on going in this direction. When it comes to the Page of Swords, you notice how he's looking back at the Empress. I feel like that you may feel as if you should be going in one direction, like you're, you're trying to go forward, but you keep looking back at the Empress. Um, we have the Knight of Cups. We also have the Five of Swords. There could have been some kind of falling out with the Knight of Cups. It's like you want to make something right. We have the King of Swords. You could be in your head about it, you know. Um, I feel like you're kind of in your ego, Scorpio. Um, bottom deck energy is the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is, you know, you're putting in a hell of a battle here. Um, this could be out of you living in fear or um, there's some kind of reconciliation you want to do. I feel like that you do want to go forward, but with the Five of Swords, you're not showing up or this other person isn't showing up. Um, if you're dealing with the Empress type person, the Empress is not just going to walk away from you for no reason. There would be no reason to research this person. Um, and don't, don't mind the gender thing here. Um, the Empress is an energy of growth, planting seeds. Uh, some of you, um, this is very specific. Um, you know, the Empress is all about a birth of an idea. It's about birth. Could be childbirth, could be, you know, birth. Birth of an idea, creativity, something new, planting seeds, growth, abundance. And I feel like with the Page of Wands, you're trying your hardest to move in this direction, but you're just not moving. Um, with the Knight of Cups, I do see this as your energy of, I want to make something right. Maybe I need to offer an apology. Maybe I need to show a small token of love. I feel like with the Five of Swords... You either feel like they have disconnected from you or you have disconnected from them. They probably feel like you've disconnected from them if they are feeling, um, if they felt like they had to walk away, they walked away for a reason. So when it comes to the King of Swords, I feel like this could also be your energy of, you know, being in your head about something, maybe feeling as if you can't commit to a certain situation right now. Um, with the Ten of Swords, it's like you're battling this within yourself. I feel like you're having a hard time with it because you want to, if you're dealing with an Empress, you don't want to lose this opportunity. And I feel like with the Ten of Swords, you know, you are putting in one hell of a fight for your happiness here. I feel like there could be something going on in your life that, you know, something's going on where you're not being, um... I'm curious to see if the moon card comes out because I feel like that there could be some things that haven't surfaced. Um, we do have the sun card here. This person helps you see your happiness. With the six of cups, I feel like this person also helps you heal in different ways. That might be why you research them or you could be like if they post certain things on social media, you may not let them know that you're looking, but you're looking you, I feel like that you could be taking direction from them when it comes to matters of the heart or when it comes to your happiness or what should you do to heal. We have the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign. You don't have to be, which is Libra, Aquarius, uh, Gemini. 
with the Three of Cups, I feel like if you are dealing with the Queen of Swords type, the Three of Cups came out right afterwards. I feel like that you've been fighting for your happiness here, but there is a certain situation from the past with the Six of Cups being present. The Six of Cups is about healing something from the past. I feel like you've been trying to heal something with another person, um, and maybe that's what's keeping you from this Empress. But there's something that happened in the past with the Three of Cups. There were too many cooks in the kitchen. Always too many cooks in the kitchen. I feel like um, when it comes to this certain situation, either you cheated or they cheated or, you know, you tried to come together in a, a very loving, supportive way. But somebody was listening to somebody else or somebody was, you know, uh, cheating and bringing some other people in. With the Four of Swords, I feel like that you may have turned a blind eye to this. And you're like, you know what, I'm just going to surrender to this. And we're going to try to make a go of it. With the Fool, you are taking a chance on it. Why you're taking a chance on it, I'm not really sure. It could be because it's familiar. Something from the past. Something that made you happy from the past. And so you're like, I, I want to entertain it. I want to see if we can heal. I want to see if this is going to go anywhere. With the Hanged Man, I feel like that you have all the information that you're that you need but you're still staying stuck you're still staying stuck i feel like that you are afraid to move forward with the two of swords you're like i know i need to make a decision i know i need to do something better because with the eight of pentacles it shows me that you want something that's more reciprocal you want a bigger payout for what you are putting in with the chariot, there could be a lot of traveling or this is you seeing your goal and you're like, I'm going to go for it. I'm going for it. But we have the eight of cups in reverse. There's something that's still stopping you from moving forward. Okay, Scorpio. So four, five of wands, lots of chaos. Okay, Scorpio. So th this is what we have going on here. What we have going on here is, you know, somebody doesn't want to let you go, but it's ultimately up to you and your happiness of what you want to do. And so this is actually stopping you from going forward. You have the opportunity to go forward in a certain situation, but you're choosing to live in the past for whatever reason. You're choosing to, let me try this again. Let me try that again. And it's nothing but repeat history. And I feel like that you feel as if, okay, well, let me go ahead and do this. Let me try it. Let me see what happens. But you're still spinning around in the same circle. And you keep thinking about this Empress. The reason why you keep thinking about this Empress is because you know that this is a pretty good opportunity. But if you're killing the opportunity, then your opportunity is going to be lost. All right, Spirit, what advice do you have for my Scorpio babies? We have the dragon, Gaia's gateway, access Earth's inner wisdom. Meditate, figure out what it is that you really want to do. Plant your feet in the ground. Go barefoot. Peacock, self-love. Time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. You need to go with, with what truly makes you happy versus going for a past thing that you just keep spinning your wheels with. Chameleon, soul tribe. It is safe to be seen. I feel like that you're hiding some things. Um, you are not being entirely honest with this Empress. I feel as if you know that you could come more, uh, clean or you could, you know, like really put it out there of what's really going on. But if you want this Empress in your life, you have to come correct or not at all. We have the whale, tenderness, show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. Sometimes when it comes to relationships, it's not meant for us to try again. Sometimes it's about forgiving and just moving on from there. But you have to commit that to yourself. Um, we have the Raven, wise woman, a change is coming. Um, for those that are men, um, this could, it could be wise man instead of wise woman. But either way, a change is coming. You notice I mentioned something about the moon card earlier. Here it is. Okay, so here's the moon presenting itself. I feel like that there are some things that need to surface in order for you to move forward. You're going to have to come clean, you know, um, let the Empress know exactly where you're at if you want to keep them in your life. So 
that is what I have for you today, Scorpio. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day. And I